What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and as we stated before, the biggest screw. Good morning. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? Kwame just came out of nowhere on my damn thing. Oh, Kwame went live. I, I didn't know. Damn, he had something scheduled. No, you didn't. But you now you're in the middle of my video. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Kwame just popped up out of nowhere. Well, you you beat a lot of people up. You up doing the Ceno hours. I don't know. I think I'm corrupting Kwame. <laughs> he up doing my hours. I'm like, what is Kwame doing up doing Ceno time? <laughs> this one, Ceno get up and start handling business. Um. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I see what happened now. They got it on the browser. All right, I get it. Jesus, it was on the browser. Well, that was unexpected. That's a, that shocked the it out of me. <laughs> Special guest appearances, Kwame Brown. <laughs> Everything started going on with least. At least they got uh, they got a lot of things uh, messed up over there as far as the Boston Celtics. But my goodness, that just took my whole mind away from the entire video. But let's get to it. So hit the like button right away. Let's get that rolling. Now, now that we're back. Let's go ahead and get into this. Yep, that wouldn't be unusual to have that happen. Now, let's get into this. This has been one of the craziest soap opera. Can't wait to see the miniseries that comes from, you won't see the Brett Favre miniseries or the Robert Sauver miniseries, but you will see this miniseries. The, the M.A. Udoka. And... The M.A. Udoka and uh, the Boston Celtic and Nia Long. They're going to put Nia Long because she's the actress. They're not going to really use the the woman who's just really looked at as the woman. Now, let's get to the meat of the situation because I think that needs to be mentioned because it's not being talked about at all because they have not publicly named anybody, but yet everybody's name was drugged through the mud. And you might be like, whoa, whoa, how is that? What happened? What are you talking about? Who name was drugged through the mud? I don't get it. Well, here's what you didn't get out of the situation. What you didn't get was the fact that other people in the industry um, as far as this business, have been going through a what they call conundrum of lives and situations that were created by the media, created by people who just wasn't in the know, or just created by people who just didn't get it, period. So when the story first came out, the first leak that anyone seemed to have about the character was the name and the link that this person is also married to someone in the company. And that rumor came out because the last name was attached to the senior vice president of finance, who happens to be Patrick Lynch. Everyone jumped the gun and didn't even know what Patrick Lynch looked like, didn't even, they just went off the word of the internet. The internet is a place where people just go off whoever tweets something, 
They don't research it. They don't look it up. They don't find information. They don't even do. They just take it and run with it. Then they tell you how wrong you are. We've had former NBA player and convicted convict Gilbert Arenas tell you that, oh, the coach is the best friend. Carcino didn't tell you that the coach was the best friend of the guy involved. And the reason that Carcino didn't tell you that, because that's a lie. And Gilbert seems to think, oh, that's not a lie. That was just a, you know, a mix-up. Like being a mix-up. No, it's not a mix-up. You didn't know what you were talking about. Because you took something that you read online, tried to act like you had an inside information, and without any research, started talking. So, or the person he got it from, or who called him, Gave it to him, and they took it at face value. Now, only when I debunked the situation and stated how wrong the situation was and how clearly this mix-up led to a lot of people going off base and blaming other people's families who had nothing to do with it. Instead of this news anchor who's trying to play victim and come out and be like, look at me, we're all being blamed. That was like a one-day situation. So her three seconds of fame was up because everyone seemed to know who it was within 24 hours. It was on the internet, leaked out. That woman deleted or silenced all her social media, had deleted it all. Everything, because she was going to get hit, media sources, everyone was looking up this information. But what they already got from the initial just being out there, um, you could tell that they had a picture of her husband, her and her husband, that she's married to and everything, who's Taylor Lynch. And no one even thought to bother that, man, that guy looks pretty young to be the senior vice president of finance, but you know, you know, you never could tell. But he looks pretty young. So you never know how old a photo is, but it's obvious that this guy can probably possibly be the senior vice president of finance. But you never know. So the information was coming out that this was it, that she was married to the senior vice president. So I'm like, yeah, this comes out that she's married to the senior vice president. I've even said it when it was first coming out. Then I said, well, let me go and, you know, get more information on this when this is coming out, because that was the initial response. Then I investigated, and then I said, wait a minute. She's not the senior vice president. Then I start checking up on sources. Then they knew right away. The Boston Celtics knew that this was false information that was floating around. The senior vice president of the Boston Celtics don't have social media. So they were like, okay, well, he'll, he can take the hit. At least they'll be looking at him more than they'd be looking at her. The Celtics advised her to take down her social media and everything. She's being advised how to handle this storm until it blows over. Until someone else finds something else to link on to, another distraction, so that they can move on and get to their lives. Now, this situation where this man is being looked at, the husband, as the senior vice president of the company, and they have publications that have taken that story and run ran with it, completely ran with it, posted it, stated it. It's the senior vice president of the company. He threw away his job. Why would you risk your job going after the senior vice president of the company's wife? I'm like, yeah, that don't even make sense. That's because he never did that. 
This guy is Taylor Lynch is a consultant. Works for Mercer Consultant LLC. And sometimes they do they do consulting work for the Boston Celtics. So he has a relationship with them. And his wife is a talent service manager who handles travel. That's it. It's no big, real smoking gun. There's no real, oh my God. This is the media made this mix up. And they took Patrick Lynch's what life and his name, brother, and gave it to someone else. So his whole identity was handed off to this young kid named Taylor Lynch. So Patrick Lynch, it doesn't bother him because no one's looking for him. No one's saying Patrick Lynch did anything. They're saying Patrick Lynch, but not knowing who Patrick Lynch is. His name is being thrown around. His wife, who's not even being shown, her name, I mean, not her name, but just the words of the wife is doing this. So he wasn't too happy to see that his name was being thrown around, senior vice president, but the Celtics is not coming out confirming anything because if they confirm or deny anything, then they're basically telling and you're pushing people in a direction to go search. They're not going to say anything more to this situation, period, until it's basically resolved. Now, I was in a bad position when this was going on. Because I was just in an argument with a girl. All these other things were going on all at the same time. So I couldn't give a lot of this stuff my full attention when it was first coming out. There was other details, other things that were going on at the time. Now, the way I look at the situation is crazy. Because I'm thinking... Did the Celtics do this on purpose? You know, I'm trying to link the connections up. You know, because that's the part that gets me, is the connections. So I said, well, let me figure out the connections here. Did the Celtics do this to cover their situation and say, okay, we're going to have to cover our tracks? Did they think of doing that or did they just do that? You know, that's that's what my mind is. Did they try to do this on purpose? Now, slowly I begin to realize that that wasn't the case. This was people's fault. And people are human. They do stupid stuff. Um, so no one's wiser or lesser, but both men are hurt in this. Two families are destroyed when one family was involved, meaning out of the lynches. The only correlation that they have is the fact that they have the last name Lynch. That's it. That's the connection. Lynch. Her name happens to be Lynch, and his name happens to be Lynch. So the, the, the media put two and two together, and they stuck this person as the wife. And he was like, it's so wrong. Uh, yeah, a lot of people in Boston don't know. That's, that's the problem that a lot of you guys don't understand is that a lot of you don't know. <laughs> like a lot of people you think know, don't know. I told you the Celtics did not tell on the coach. I've been sitting here putting out fires. They'd be like, man, you milking it. No, they're milking it. I'm putting out the fires. 
Every time they say something stupid, I come around and make a video telling them that's stupid. Don't y'all believe it? It's dumb. Somebody made that to get hits and views. Don't buy into the bull. So all I'm doing is debunking their nonsense. They're putting the lies out there. I'm here trying to give you the truth. And trust me, I was already making videos before this happened. I was doing quite well. So I was, I'm going to do quite well when this story goes away. Yes, it gets a lot of attention and a lot of people seeing it and they're jumping on it and everything else. But truth be told, I, I'm going to make money regardless. And thank you guys for who supported my cash app, which is uh, dollar sign Carcino. And you'll see the Carcino for life. You'll see a picture of me in the green shirt. That's me. Now, when you see that and you see the consequences that other people have went through as far as just being, creating their stories and telling it, then you'll understand. You will understand this whole dilemma. You'll understand everything that's laid out. Right? Other than that, what are you really doing? Now, well, a lot of people probably lawyered up in this situation because they they might come after M.A. Udoka, so I'm quite sure the Lynch people, meaning the wife, you know, emotional distress. I doubt there be any criminal charges filed in this situation. Like if she felt she needs to get a restraining order. And all of these things, because I think now, I don't think he's going to go around and do, you know, the things that he was doing at the time. So. Was I told what, she, what he said and did? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But not verbatim. You know, people who have allegedly seen these text messages, but they would know. Or it's been told to them what was said. So things would get lost in translation, but tone was definitely <laughs> was definitely received. So I, I knew which t the tone and how it was delivered and why the Boston Celtics felt the, the way they did and why M.A. Udoka already know, like, okay, no, I accept the punishment, the suspension, and everything else. So they were glad of that. He accepted it. He took responsibility. And yeah, well, I don't think it's going to change the way the Celtics play basketball. So we'll get to we'll get to that later. I just want to keep everything in perspective as of like right now, this is where it is, you know. So when you see this right now and look at this video, you understand one thing. And that one thing is oh, sorry about that. <sighs> Neck tight. Everything. See, this is why you don't fall asleep on your couch. You get neck problems. <laughs> I passed out on the couch. Wasn't my plan to sleep on the couch. And I'll be taking micro naps. Take a little nap and pop back up. Take a little nap and pop back up. So, yeah. That's that. So anyway, thank y'all, man, for the love, the support, everything y'all been doing, man. I appreciate it. I want to say uh, shouts out to to Ed Kwame Brown, Bus Life, for his support. 
Ticket TV. Shouts out to Uncle Frank when he ever he come by. Welcome to HD with the two eyes TV. And man, who else? There's so many people out there. Uh, Queen Regina, uh, Sister T, supported the page. Definitely support them. Uh, Seahawks, Jose Rodriguez, support his page. Subscribe to him. He get, if you love sports, he gets sports breakdowns. And, man, so many YouTubers. I can't really just think of everybody off the top of my head. Mm. Damn. I can't really right now, but anyway. I'm done. So hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So in case we get anything new, you don't miss any new information we have on the situation. Okay? So this here should show you there should end all your confusion. There should be no more confusion. The man, the first picture you see is Patrick Lynch. He's the senior vice president of finance for the Boston Celtics. Person all the way to your right side is Taylor Lynch. He is the husband of Catherine Nemo Lynch. He is a consultant from Mercer Consulting, who do consulting work sometimes for the Boston Celtics. Two different people, don't look alike. Much you want, one looks age appropriate to his wife, and one has nothing to do with this situation whatsoever. So if you ever hear that again, you guys can correct people, and then you can send them to this video and say, see, see you nut job. They're two different people. Stop it. Okay? Now I'm out.